Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, in this video, we are going to uh, talk about the two different types of failures. So these are nothing but the fatigue failure and creep. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the ductile failure of the materials. In that uh, video, there, there is a like UTM, Universal Testing Machine, which is used and we have seen the various uh, various points over there in that video. So guys, uh, just uh, you can click over here on the top right corner to view this video. So guys, uh, over here in this video, we are going to talk about the fatigue and creep. So basically when uh, a particular machine part, a particular product, and it undergoes a, into a loading condition, it means there are the you know number of the forces which acts on that particular product. So if that amount of the force or as the magnitude of the force is you know more than that of the ultimate tensile strength of your material so in that case you know the chances of deformation are more in that case you know your material will deform and ultimately it fails after some uh, time period basically so this is the uh, terminology behind the failure of the materials so guys over here in this video we are going to talk about this fatigue failure which is slightly different than your uh, simple terminology and we will talk about the creep also so guys if you're new to my channel just do subscribe to my education channel and guys please hit the bell icon so you will get instant notifications whenever i upload a new video so guys let's begin our today's topic so guys fatigue failure so first of all uh, in order to understand this type of fatigue failure let me give you an example suppose i am having a rod which is having a uniform diameter and having a certain length l and uh, guys if i if you if i gave you that rod and i'll tell you to just break that particular rod in two pieces what you will do what what is your you know what is your strategy to break that rod into two pieces the first one is uh, we can we can pull that particular rod in both the directions ultimately that will requires the more of your efforts to break that rod into two parts and there is a second method you can bend that particular rod into upper side and then on the down like on the lower side and you can do that you know constantly over a particular time period uh, you can apply like the upward and downward forces and try to bend that particular rod in such a way that after some time you know we will be able to split that particular rod into two pieces so that is the second example so guys most of you uh, most of the people you will choose uh, the second example because you know in the second case it will require less efforts to break that particular rod into two pieces so over here the type of failure of rod is nothing but your fatigue failure so basically this type of fatigue failure it uh, it is basically you know there are the less magnitude the magnitude of the force which requires to carry out this particular fatigue failure is very much less than that of your ultimate tensile strength of material so guys this is very interesting so basically in order to deform in order to fail in order to undergo a fatigue failure the force requires which is less than that of your ultimate tensile strength so now this type of fatigue failure can occur at ambient temperature at room temperature also there is no need of the higher or elevated temperature as that in case of creep which we we require uh, higher higher temperatures elevated temperatures in case of creep but over here in case of fatigue we don't need uh, it can occur in like uh, at ambient temperatures also so guys this is the simple example of the fatigue so now this particular fatigue will occurs due to the repetitive forces due to the cyclic forces so guys over here we have to understand there is the repetitive you that particular rod you move that particular rod repetitively after certain time period so that there is the repetitive forces are acting on that particular rod so this is also very much important in order to understand the fatigue failure so guys when you just like bend that particular rod on upward direction you know the cross section the initial cross uh, the like the outer portion of the rod will get elongates it will undergo tension 
while the inner portion will go under compression and you will carry out that particular uh, process like throughout a particular time period so that's why you know that's why the tension and compression will undergoes over the cross sectional area of that particular rod so initially there is a small minute crack gets formed in the cross section of your rod and after some time and due to that repetitive action of your forces uh, you know the that particular crack gets propagated over the area and that's why you know the ultimately after some time your uh, per that particular rod gets failed so guys this is nothing but the fatigue failure now guys you have to understand that this type of fatigue failure where it is exactly occurs in which scenarios we can see the fatigue failures well guys you can see you know where the gears in the gearing assembly uh, where the two gears into like they are in the meshing meshing with each other so in that case you know uh, you can see this particular type of failure you can also see this type of failure in case of your turbines in ic engines so these are the you know the common examples i have i'm giving you to understand this type of fatigue failure also guys there is a fatigue testing is there like uh, you can see over here this is the diagram which represents the uh, testing of your specimen uh, uh, so your specimen is there and uh, you can see the arrangement you know the power is transmitted from the motor and there are the bearings which supports your uh, rod that particular like the shaft and upon that shaft there is a like a uh, like the specimen is mounted and uh, after that there is a dead uh, like the weight the counter weight is there that is the eccentric counter weight so that you know uh, that particular when that particular motor rotates you know your specimen also rotates and the eccentric counter weights that also rotates that starts rotating and due to that counter votes you know the bending moment gets formed over here in that case and uh, you know particular that's your specimen it undergoes you know uh, just like in case of your rod the specimen undergoes you know the cyclic stresses so this is the particular machine this is the setup which is used to test your specimen for uh, this type of fatigue failures now guys let's just talk about the creep what is creep basically so guys uh, in case of fatigue fatigue occur occurs at ambient temperature but in case of creep we need higher temperatures we need elevated temperatures so creep is mostly be seen in elevated temperature so in that case uh, you know the uh, material undergoes a deformation in case of creep so that is the uh, basic difference between your fatigue and creep in case of your creep the amount there is no cyclic stresses in case of creep the particular stress there is the constant stress is there so ultimately the creep will take more time to deform the fracture which occurs in their cross sectional area of your particular specimen so in case of creep the high elevated temperature is there and uh, particular the type of the nature of the forces which acts on your product are the constant stresses are acts on your particular product so and uh, this is also a time dependent phenomenon this uh, this is also you know occurs after some time period basically so that is the basic difference between your fatigue and creep so guys that's just all about the fatigue and creep so guys if you like my video just hit like if you having any doubts any more further doubts regarding fatigue and creep just you can comment below and guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy and guys please do share my, all of my videos to your friends and families and on the social networks as well so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy